Stunning, your majesty. Are you missing now, is it? Yes, well, I recommend you put it on and step outside. There's quite a crowd waiting for a glimpse of their new queen. How do you feel? Nervous. Oh, don't be. After heading the resistance to defeat Tremaine, you've proven you're a leader. I have to agree with your friends, Tiana. If only your father were here, he'd be so proud. Indeed he would be. Of course, he's not the only one. <laughs> Enchante, princess. Dr. Priscillier, what are you doing here? Did you really think I'd miss your coronation after everything we've been through? <laughs> oh, speaking of, how lovely to see you again, Regina. I wish I could say the same. I'd heard rumors you'd gone soft, Regina. What a shame they appear true. Get out now, or I'll prove just how wrong you are. <sighs> Perhaps I am. But there's no need for threats. After all, I came to deliver a gift. A glimpse into our soon-to-be queen's future. Before that crown sits upon your head, you'll have to face a test. Oh, a terrible beast will threaten the peace of your entire kingdom. I know your tricks. You're lying. You're just trying to get under my skin. Go to the ferry docks on the southern edge of the bayou and see if I'm lying. You may not trust me now, but you will then. Don't worry, Tiana. It's like you said. He's just trying to goad you. I have to go to the docks to make sure this is my responsibility. What about the coronation? Your mother's right. I know, Facilier. He likes to play games. Don't indulge him. And if this is not a game, the coronation will have to wait. My people could be in danger from one queen to another. You know I have to go. 